July 16th, 1996. It's a muggy summer's morning in Nutley, New Jersey. On that hot summer's day, Susan tells her husband, Mark, that she needs to call her agent, who books her jobs in the go-go clubs. Although Mark has a telephone, he doesn't always let Susan use it. Mark had the phone in his name, so she had to go out and make phone calls that Mark didn't approve of. Like many of Susan's family and friends, Mark has begun to suspect that Susan is using drugs. In the past, Susan has struggled with addiction, though worked hard to overcome it. On Christmas Eve of 1984, Susan called me from jail, and she said she had been picked up for possession. And we were able to put together enough to pay the bail, and we got her out of jail. And uh, I took her home to our house, and that was uh, the last drink or drug she had for quite a number of years. After a two-month stay in rehab, Susan remained sober for over 11 years. I know that she had had a previous addiction, and I did not see that side of Susan at all. I never seen her drink. I never seen her smoke a cigarette. But she did slip, and I became suspicious about it. Now, worried that Susan might be using drugs again, Melissa decides to stage an intervention. That morning, I was talking with a mutual friend of hers, Joey Williams. And we had both decided that we were going to confront her about everything and tell her that we would be there for her, that we would help her to get into a rehab and get her life together. Melissa tries contacting Susan, but is unable to reach her. Back then, there were pagers, not cell phones. So she had a pager. And I paged her, and she would walk down the street and call me right back, you know, from the public phone. And she didn't call me back. Melissa drives to Susan's house to see if she can catch her in person. I went to her house. I noticed that the door that was usually open was locked shut. The windows were locked shut. And it was 98 degrees out that day. And I rang the doorbell. Nobody answered. Nobody's car was there. In the pit of my stomach, I knew something had happened to her. 